What's going on everybody? Hit, hit balls here. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at what are we going to do to convert from uh, UDK to UE4, basically going from the specular gloss system over to the PBR system. So I have the AK-47. If you guys have are long-time viewers of my channel, I'm sure you've seen the speed paint of this one, one of my probably one of my more popular videos, I suppose. Um, was a lot of fun, but uh, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to work that well inside of UE4 uh, anymore. But I do want to check out what's going on here now. So what I've done is I've imported the same mesh that I brought into UE, uh, UDK and the same images. Now, when I brought this texture in here, this AK diff fuse, basically, uh, what uh, Substance Painter does is uses the alpha channel as a transparency mask which was you know pretty pretty expected so I've got that image here and it's got this alpha channel now I may or may not need uh, to invert this but basically what I want to do is go back here this is so it's going to be AK47 images and I'm going to save this in here as a 24 bit and that wipes the alpha channel. Now I want to get the alpha channel to an actual layer so I'm going to fill that with white. I'm going to hit D and then X so I've got white there. Just come here, hold control and click that thumbnail and I'm going to call this actually just what it was the alpha okay and that's also going to be 24 bit so as far as I know there's no way to delete a texture I think when you close the file and reopen it anything that wasn't used is gotten rid of but I'm not real sure about that uh, so we're going to this is where I kept everything for the UDK version, so we're going to go here and we're going to reimport these. Okay, so it looks like it overrode it. So now I can get the base color in there and curiosity. I'm going to throw that in roughness and see what we get. Because it ain't, it ain't that big of a leap to honestly to. Uh, repaint it. It ain't that hard. Especially in that I have the diffuse layer already done. As you can see, you know, it doesn't actually look all that bad in PBR format, to be honest. Uh, let's see, metallic? It looks a lot better when I throw metallic in there. I think. Okay, now there is nothing in this image. There's a lot of information here, actually. Okay, in the wood. So using the same image for metallic is definitely a mistake. But. I wonder how hard it would be. Just call this metallic. Essentially, we have diffuse, well, base color, metallic, roughness, right? And then the normal map. The normal map's pretty good already. It's it's okay. It might be a little strong in some parts, but it's for the most part pretty fine. Um so what I want to do for metallic here is set this to black, do UV, wait is that, uh, okay that did color for sure. Okay, that appears to be doing color. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to think what's the fastest way to do this. Uh, I'm I, it looks like this is limited to the color channel doing this. So it's good for masking, but it's not good for anything else. And as far as I know, copy content. Yeah, I can't paste. It's like it wants to copy all of the channels, right, at one time. It's not copying per channel, so bit of a bit of a downside there. But I can use a pretty big brush and we'll go UV here and let's say hardness all the way up flow 100 percent and let's do this in the 3D 2D view and let's use a really large brush and everywhere okay that's Maybe I gotta be on tangent. Nah, I just wanted to transfer that over to here. Okay, well, I do know that if it's gonna be like that, then I can just go right? I just paint everything. Or actually, you know what? This will be faster than that. I'm being stupid. Let's just knock everything out but metallic and just, just turn the metallic all the way off, right? And then add a black mask. And now. Go back to 3D. Uh, let's click this to UV. Can I not? Wait, I need this to be white. Can I click here? That's on face. Let's do whole, whole UV shell. What is this piece? hard a little bit hard to tell what the hell's going on here okay showing the channel certainly made this easier to tell what's going on which I should have done in the first place So there we go. Now the uh, wood is no longer metallic. That's pretty pretty fast to do that. Once I realize some of these things, as I get better at doing this, I'll should be able to be a bit faster. So if I look at metallic, you can see here that my specular, what I had originally painted as specular, I think will work pretty good for metallic. Excuse me, metallic. Height, I don't have. Now, roughness. See, I'm half tempted to say that my roughness is inverted. Because I don't want these edges to be more rough. I want them to be less rough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dupe of that, and I'm just going to hit Control-I. And where I have wood, I'm going to want to add to the roughness. But I think it's going to be faster for me to do that the way I just did it. So let's save that. As 
roughness, 24 bit. Okay, let's import that layer. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a fill layer called roughness, and we're only going to use the roughness channel. And we're going to drag that sucker right in there. Okay, so that's opposite. Let's see, what does that do to my... And it makes it look a little oily. Um, let's run a levels effect. And let's, I think... No, I keep doing that roughness. So I can I can fiddle with that if I take it the other way. That becomes fully rough, which is definitely not what I want. I want it, I think I want it to be a little bit less rough overall. It's it's looking pretty wet though and I don't think I like that I don't wanna see by doing this I'm ending up doing uh, contrast quite a bit of contrast so what I can do is do it opposite just pull out a little bit of the black Because you gotta understand that this, the images that I painted a long time ago, they contain scratches, dirt, grime, everything all contained. So I did my best back then to use the methodology for the way that specular and gloss would work. Uh, whereas when you bring that into PBR, it's kind of like a little bit different different enough you know I feel like I should probably let's check the channels so roughness uh, that doesn't actually feel too that feels like it's probably about correct for roughness but metallic I'm thinking I need to boost that like a lot which is easy. Uh, well, I guess not that easy. Since my metallic layer is a separate layer, so this would be wood metallic. And then let's do an actual metallic, metal metallic, which is kind of silly, but it makes sense in this case to signify which is which. And again, we're just going to pop that, and then we're going to pop this all the way up. Now we're going to copy this mask, and I'll add a black mask and then paste into the mask. Okay. And then, I wish there was a quick invert, but we can do a levels effect and invert that. Okay. So, now if you look at my metallic, it's basically black and white here. And what I can do is take this to be, say, screen. And now I have the ability to knock it down and pull that metallic up and down here and you can see it's metallic is essentially and I'm not gonna say that it's exactly this but metallic is essentially a uh, fernel darkening of the surface okay uh, uh, and I believe it's of the diffuse color or the base color is what you can think of it as. Because you'll notice that if I take this layer off, 
essentially it's just getting brighter okay it's essentially getting brighter but you'll notice that that change is not very drastic here but if I look at it straight on it's much more drastic okay so on the glancing angles the diffuse is multiplied by one right? as you get closer to the glancing angle right it's it's closer to one because it's like I said it's a, it's a Fresnel so Fresnels are based directly off of the angle of the the normal to the camera so we're always able to achieve a relatively metallic look inside of like UEK because we could just darken the diffuse using a uh, like I said a Fresnel or Fresnel and essentially we get the same thing so this actually I mean I don't know it's just like really nothing too wrong with it height here's my roughness I wanna say it, it don't really look all that bad um, like this material here could probably be a better material I could probably uh, do some more to this let's try adding a new material and we'll call this like ejection port right here right let's just see if we can ejection port okay and we'll pick one of these actual metals uh, nothing black I like this steel right here okay we add the black mask and we put that there so that's a better material overall I would say if I knock off the normal map see the normal map was also tuned specifically for the lighting conditions in UDK but I could definitely add more to it here by using the height map and I could um, I'm trying to think I'm a little scatterbrained on this you can see it's really early for me and I was up really late so there's nothing really stopping me from just using this as is but I could like I said I think I can try to where was I going with this I think I can replace the metal is what I'm, what I'm what I'm thinking and still somehow get the diffuse maybe be able to replace the diffuse so let's give that a try let's let's just try full metal replace we'll see what we get and we'll pick a a metal that looks good overall I don't think I want it to be rusty I don't I definitely I mean I can knock some of these other elements out I just want to pick whatever feels like the closest black feels pretty good metal steel what brushed I don't really want it to be brushed I can see the brush strokes there right around there but pretty hard to determine that when I've got the normal map on there metal steel needs to be much darker and it needs to be not rusty it can have a little bit on there I suppose here and there okay so let's copy the mask add a black mask and we'll paste into mask 
Okay, and then we'll invert that mask. Okay, the weapon just got much darker. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to wipe out the color channel. So now we have all of the elements of metal steel. I feel like it just needs to be rougher. Again, I'm trying to see what I can pull off to avoid a complete repaint. It's not that I don't want to repaint it, because I actually do. It's just a matter of, like, do I have the time for that? I don't. It's not that I don't, but I don't. I want to not have to repaint it. It honestly doesn't really look that different. It's just kind of a different look, and I can't tell you which one looks better. It's just different. I think it actually looks better with it out without it. I think it looks pretty good. Let's uh let's see if we can enhance the bump map. Okay, this is where I want to bring in my coveted pen tablet here. Okay, so I'm only going to fiddle with height. I don't want max height. Let's check the brush. Hardness on the brush. Uh, like something like that. Feel dipped in. It feels inverted, but it's really not. Isn't that says am I the only one that makes feels like that's like inverted? Right, like if I turn it this way, wouldn't I wouldn't you expect that dark part of that circle to be on the other side? It feels like it's dipped into me. Strange. I know it's not, but it's just strange. It just feels like it is. Okay. So the ejection ports. I really liked the the metal look on that, so my flow 'n weird it just feels inverted doesn't it am I the only one that's tripping on that is it because of the the normal map the normal map. What layer is flipping me the fuck out here? 
This fill layer, what is this fill layer using? It's just a base color, so I don't want any height. Let's put that normal map back on. No, it's just yeah. Hopefully, you guys see what I'm talking about. Like, this would be the peak, right? The the really flat part right there. But as I turn this way, you would expect that to be if it's bumped out, it would be on the left. It would shift to the left. See how this side is getting thinner when I turn this way. This side's getting thicker. That would be indica indicative of this being dipped in. Right? That would be what you'd expect to see if it was dipped in. So I'm getting this like double illusion in my head. I don't know. It's flipping me out. What is my height? Right? I mean, how is that dipping in? That's literally... Okay, I need to, uh, I, I need a second, I gotta let this asshole out. Sorry about that, try to do that as fast as possible. Yeah, it's tripping me out, it's really tripping me out. Let's knock out that normal map again. Even without the normal map, just straight up, nothing but bumps. Clearly this layer has more to it than just the bumps. Is that, is that fucking weird or what? Okay, so what happens if I... That's a definite... That's opposite. That's, that feels dip, that feels pulled out to me because when I look down I expect to see more of the bottom side and less of the top side. Am I the only one that's wigging the fuck out on this? What the hell? Wait. Yeah, there's, that's dipped in, right? Height map? Black? Right? Dipped in, right? That's what we expect to see? Why do this? Should I focus on that? Should I fucking keep freaking out about it? Because it's driving me insane. Or maybe it's just a... I don't know. I'm going to stop freaking out about it. I'm just going to leave it as is. We'll see what happens when it comes out to a normal map. Uh, let's just undo... Get rid of the full metal replace. Just throw that normal map back on. I mean, like I said, it's not it's not like there's anything about it that I totally hate. Does it now I am just basically exploring what what I can expect in the future. I do have a very layered version of all of this still. A Photoshop file with all the layers that what the fuck is that oh, oh with all the layers that were painted bumps okay uh disable disable and disable okay Yeah, I mean, I th I think overall it's okay. The wood feels alright. 
the metal feels all right. Let's give it a look see in some different lighting conditions. In fact, let's do this. And Man, yeah, it's, it's, it's not too It's not too shabby, I suppose. I'm using metal roughness method. Here go the asshole dogs. Barking at nothing. Love them, but holy shit. Alright. Yeah. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. A couple you know, like I said, I did need to come in and fix some stuff. I have a feeling I have a sneaking suspicion that I will be able to get these materials to be transferred over to PBR using a little bit of trickery with some inversing and some levels adjustments and stuff like that and then I'll be able to um, fix whatever needs to be fixed right here like I did here you know enhance a little bit of the bumping and making sure the metallic is correct in the right spots and stuff like that and I think I'll be good to go I think getting all my weapons into UE4 is going to be relative non-issue I have them all rigged animated characters are rigged animated I think getting rats into UE4 is actually going to be quicker than I've been freaking out about for the last couple of months been really worried about it you know I've been thinking you know that it's going to be really, really hard, but I honestly don't think it's going to be all that difficult. I feel like I got a seam right here, but there isn't one. Normal map feels much less influential here than when I originally did it. It feels like almost completely dead. It's there, but... I mean, there's the normal. Like, this detail right here just feels... lost. Ah, it's got blue info. <laughs> That's funny. Does that even show up on here? Yeah, there you are. My little footprint. So yeah, that's it. That's that's working fine, I think. There's uh it's it's going to be relatively quick getting this over to UE4. I th honestly if I really sat down and focused like really in a panic basically because I I tend to sometimes work better when I'm in some kind of a freaked out panic for no reason. I think I could get every single weapon done in one day, all of them in one day. Just go through run the conversions fix what needs to be fixed. See the thing is is it's the, the one of the things that I have to fight when I'm doing this is the urge to r just get that feeling like I want to make it better, you know, like um re-unwrap it, you know. Mirror things that I could have mirrored in the back in the day, you know. But I'm gonna eke out like two more pixels of resolution across the board, but still. I don't think it's necessarily all that warranted. I think it looks at some point you gotta say whether or not you feel like it looks fine. Does it look like an AK forty seven? You know. And I think it does. It's a little extra dirty than normal, but that was part of the point. This is like an ancient weapon. 
so yeah thanks for watching hopefully you guys found that informative uh, it's just something you can do I think that this is a great program uh, for converting an uh, original uh, uh, you know existing textures over to the new rendering systems that we've all been using lately PBR IBL um, PBR being physically based rendering IBL being image based lighting because that's what this is here image based lighting okay so if I change the uh, the background you know say like I go studio lights you know the studio lit environment two lights in the scene they're up there one on each side see pretty much equally lit on both sides darker on the bottom and the material you know we get that we got a very warm background here right very uh, dusk or dawn I don't know is there any way I, don't, I never really know is the sun rising or setting you know um, looks like it's setting but it could be rising and we get that nice warm feeling on the weapon right if I pick another one uh, here we are in a a fucking ten-year-old's room because they got a bean bag still. Hopefully, I wonder who, if, if whoever lives here. I wonder if their lunch consists of fucking sugar cookies and cherry Kool-Aid. You know, it's like you're five years old. You got a bean bag. <laughs> you fucking yeah, they got a bean bag and a laptop. You know, grow up, dude. Grow up. I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Where's the lava lamp? You know, we got alcohol all over the place. It's not good to have alcohol with as a five-year-old. You know, guys, come on. You don't keep, uh, especially right next to the bean bag. You know, what do you what do you think the kid's gonna do? Because there's no way that this is for an adult, unless it's for your cat. And it doesn't look all like there's holes in it, and there's little beans. You know, the little styrofoams all over the floor. So clearly, this is for your five-year-old. Where is the box of sugar cookies you giving your you giving a five-year-old coffee what are you watching what are you watching I'm ex I'm I'm totally judging you okay that is inappropriate for a five-year-old it's actually cool though it's comics is that a tit is that a tit is that is that a Is that a tit right there? I can't tell what that is. Do you have... Is that Wonder Woman eating a fucking banana? Is it wrong that I have a huge boner? I don't. I'm just kidding. Now I do. Looking at that bear. Where's the, like... Cocaine and... Everything. There's no way that this is an adult's room. Was that that's a doggy door? Whoever took this picture should be ashamed of themselves. Absolutely ashamed of themselves. What is that? It's dot UK, huh? Is that for a cat? What is that? Is that for your RC car? Like what is that for? It looks hand cut. Is that a skate ramp so you can play with your finger skateboard? I mean, you are five, so you're playing with those little kinds of toys. You know what? I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm just going to fucking fill this place with holes with my AK-47, because this, this place is disturbing the shit out of me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just trying to have fun with it, guys. I'm just trying to have fun with it. Here we are out on a on a road. And see, like I said, you know, you get that... You get that really, like, kind of coolish daylight feeling out of it you know but at the same time you know a lot of this information this color information is feeding in a lot of warm values uh, can't exactly see it here
but you can kind of feel the warmth on the side of this right here a little bit right there if it's very reddish there very reddish here too right but then I come to the front you know we've got a, a, a nice whitish very white blue feeling and you get a lot of that from all this white and crazy you know brightness in the sky it's over overblown and if you know we kick up the exposure that just becomes enhanced like tenfold especially if we knock out the actual environment opacity so you can see you can feel the warm values you can see the transition if you look in the the highlight parts between white and like a very reddish brown so the image these images do they do work you know what I'm saying this is not like something that is in your head so yeah that's it that's that's all I gotta do I I, I think I'm quite pleased I think I'm, I'm actually quite pleased uh, whether or not like all the weapons are gonna be this easy I was see like it's all rigged and ready to go you know, injection port. Uh, well, I gotta like activate it. I might not. Some of the some of the bones I might not have actually put in there. In fact, that was the wrong bone. There we go. There's the ejection port. All that moves. magazine it's already it's animated I don't even need to test this anymore I don't even need to do anything I just need to export this and get the maps out of here and that's it I'm I'm, act, I'm really happy so hopefully you guys are happy for me <laughs> we'll see what we get anyways uh, this is boss signing off thanks for watching and look out for more